What's up, y'all? Today we're going to talk about the most controversial figure on the internet. No, it's not a Bud Light can. If you want that video, I did it last week. Go ahead and check that out. We're going to talk about a guy named Andrew Tate. If you don't know him, your kids do. Your grandkids do, I promise you that. But uh, he showed up on a show called Big Brother a few years back. Then he launched an enormous podcast that got crazy successful. He was a former kickboxer who actually had to, you know, happened to have a brain in his head. But then as his audience got more and more massive, he got banned on every single social media network there was for quote unquote misogynistic views. And that's where it gets interesting. He was just recently held in a Romanian prison with his brother for about two and a half months under the allegations of human trafficking with no hard evidence so far whatsoever. So, like I said, if you don't know him, your kids and grandkids do, so this is exactly why I'm bringing it up today. Now, I'll start with this. I don't know Andrew Tate, never met the guy, but what I will say is, what I do to try to figure people out is I put them on a scale, all right? It's a scale that I use to discern a man's character. It's not 100%, but it always seems to work pretty dang good. The first thing I do is, if I know nothing about a polarizing character whatsoever, I look at the people who hate him. Interesting, right? That tells me almost everything right there. And they all seem to be feminists. They all seem to be beta males. They all seem to be liberals and women who are outright proud of being prostitutes. Huh. So using that same scale, if I know nothing about him whatsoever, I look at the people who love him, which are usually predominantly like an 80 to 90% male audience. The reason men love him is because of Andrew Tate's message. He says stuff, and I quote, uh, and there's a lot of men out there who don't want to be feminine. They want to be masculine and they want to go to the gym. They want to work hard. They want to protect their wives. They want to protect their family and they want to drive a really nice car. You know, part of his game is he's going to say something that's true, but in an outrageous way, which is where him and I differ. I don't believe you need to say something outrageous just to have something true. True is true. But when you listen to the guy talk, it's really hard to know what is satirical sometimes and what ain't. I will say this though, as far as him being banned for misogyny, I do believe that everybody who's been banned from social media under that heading right there needs to be reinstated immediately. Since there's no social media site in the world that can even tell me what a woman is, you are not allowed to have a problem with anything that gets said about something you can't even identify. <laughs> so put them back on. But coming back to my scale, which is very, very important. If the issue is global warming, if the issue is uh, tax increases or gun control, all you gotta do is put them on that scale I told y'all about. Because all of if all of these people are for it, then I know immediately I'm against it because these are proven evil as hell people right here. I also think that it's really, really sick that a lot of these hardcore liberals were so excited when Andrew Tate and his brother got arrested under the allegation of human trafficking. That's sick as hell. You're actually getting excited about that? Don't you understand that means that somebody was getting trafficked? You have to be pretty damn evil to hope that these kind of crimes were committed. That's all I'm saying. But liberals and feminists don't care about the other people. They just care about winning. And that's why we are where we are. As far as Tate goes, he's not somebody I would recommend as a role model. And definitely not if these allegations turn out to be true. But I do love that there's a huge movement out there, with myself included, to bring back true masculinity. But I do think that um, Tate's style of, of showing it, you know, with driving Bugattis and posting, you know, pictures of himself shirtless all the time and yachts full of naked women, I think that's definitely a false masculinity right there and that's not something we should embrace. But we do need the real thing when the sh hits the fan, which is probably gonna be very, very soon, as we all know. Look, if there's a hostage situation, they don't call in a man with the prettiest hair. If there's a fire in a burning building, you don't go find a guy with skinny dress pants and no socks. You go find a real ass man as you damn well should. That's all I wanna say about Andrew Tate. Some nuggets of truth in there, but put them on that scale and it's gonna help you figure a lot of people out, at least 90%. Always work for me. God bless you, be good.